Hello and welcome to this little video on the science, history and application of conductive polymers. I'm going to speed through all the basics in a small-ish montage of me scribbling on a whiteboard before I get back to you for all the good bits. So, let's do it. you've had all that background information, it's time to get into the details a little bit. Conductive polymers were accidentally discovered in 1974 by a scientist called Hideki Shirakawa. Like many great scientific discoveries, they were discovered by accident in 1974, that guy. The one that was discovered was a substance called polyacetylene, which was made wrongly when Hideki added too much of the catalyst during its synthesis. This on its own was not very conductive, but through the help of his co-workers Alan Heger and Alan McDiarmid, um, they managed to win the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2000 for their discovery. Doping is when the polymer chain is oxidised or reduced to create what are called holes. Holes are where electrons are missing from the chain. When a polymer conducts, it is actually these holes that move up and down the chain as an electron moves into the hole, creating a new one. This was able to increase the conductivity of these polymers by up to a million times. 
During this period of time, many more conductive polymers were synthesized. For example, polypyro, po, polypyrrole, sorry, polythiopene, and polyanoline. Some of these polymers, through successful doping, were able to get conductivities that were comparable to that of copper and other metals. After that period of initial development, the scientific community collectively got very excited about these conductive polymers because of their many potential applications and uses. Some of them include organic LEDs, electronic displays, solar cells, and many types of flexible, intuitive electronics. Some advantages of using these over conventional conductive materials is that in theory, as the technology is developed, they will become cheaper to produce and way more environmentally friendly. The process of mining and processing metals is extremely energy intensive. Um, and because most of our energy still comes from fossil fuels, it's incredibly damaging to the environment. On top of this, um, many applications in the electronics world will be greatly benefited due to the greater flexibility and the lightweightness of these new technologies. Reducing weight and increasing portability is something that's always been considered very important in the development of better electronics. Also, it takes the strain off dwindling silicon supplies. I don't know if you've known, but recently there have been many issues with the sourcing of silicon products due to the huge demand. Now, for the final bit of this video, we're going to go back to the whiteboard to have a look at solar technology. This is an area that is being, at the moment, revolutionised by the development of conducting polymers.